Tellos, 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 welcome back, welcome back people, it's the Critic Corp, I am Toke, and this is my review today on the, um, Apple TV series, um, fucking Masters of the Air, um, episodes one and two came out today, and it was fucking sweet, I loved it, it was dope, it was dope, um, what, Be between the first two episodes, I would say it was about maybe a little bit under two hours, because you got to take into consideration the intro and the um, ending credits on top of them showing what's uh, what's bound to happen next, or what's, what's, what's set to happen next episode, shit like that. So, you know, they, they said, like, the first one was like an hour and two minutes, the second one was like 56 minutes, but really, first one was probably like 50 minutes, um, the second one was probably like, what, 48 minutes or some shit like that, um, but, you know, it kept, the pacing was good, it kept you, uh, intrigued the most, uh, you know, the most it could between the first two episodes, um, the first, the first episode was pretty much introduction to the characters, and we got to really see, um, you know, where the, um, where, the, where each character stand on their morals and whatnot, and, um, it's funny, because Bucky and, uh, is, uh, the two main characters, you know, of, uh, Austin Butler and, uh, Callum Turner, um, are played by these two dudes called, they call it, the nicknames are Bucky and Buck, but, uh, Austin Butler's name is Gail, and, uh, Callum Turner's, uh, name is John, but, um, yeah, they, like, they're the complete opposite, bro, it's funny as fuck, fucking John's, uh, just, like, he, he's, he's a dumbass, bro, like, he, he can be serious when he wants, but he's a fool, he loves to get drunk, uh, you know, makes everything a joke, um, just, you know, he, he's just a, a classical clown type of deal, and, um, Gail is more, you know, on a, a serious side about things, and, um, you know, just a, uh, a straight, you know, like, straight sober, sober man, like, he, he doesn't drink, smoke, and all that shit, um, you know, straight edge type of dude, you know, just, uh, he's really just focused on the priorities of things, and whatnot, <laughs> and, um, you know, these two, like, these two fools are friends, they end up leading the, um, 100 Bomb crew, uh, group, I, believe, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, um, you know, into their first mission against the, uh, Nazis in Germany, their base is, um, you know, staged out of England, um, and that first mission goes, you know, completely south, like, it was, it was bad, it was very bad, uh, they lost, uh, I believe, like, 30 men, um, the fucking navigator was, um, like, pissed poorly at his job. He, he had air sickness. Um, just a whole bunch of shit going on. Mechanical problems. Um, like, it, it was all bad. It was all bad, bro. They almost died even landing. Like, it was bad. It was bad. Um, and fucking Bucky, he's, uh... He's not even up in the air with them. He, cause he's a fucking air executive, and so he he does all the you know all his work from the ground. And um, they show in the beginning that he he was in the air when he first got to that base, and he you know he lost a lot of men. He lost a lot of men, and they were. Um, they were telling him, like, just, you know, don't tell your men, don't tell your next man that come here shit about this, um, because he's been out in the air twice, he's been on his, on two missions, 
and it went completely, you know, it went completely wrong. And he failed to tell this, notify this to uh, his boy, Buck, you know, Gail. But, you know, they're friends. He he couldn't hide it for too long and much longer. And, um, you know, it ended up coming to the light. And Buck's like, well, fuck. Um, we're, you know, we're in, we, we, we in for a long ride, you know, like, cause this mission is going to get done, but it's going to be a little more, um, of a task than we thought type of deal. And, um, you know, the fucking, the colonel that, uh, promoted fucking Bucky to hit the position he's in now, goddamn ends up, uh, happened to go on medical leave, because he was fucking just puking up blood, and all types of shit, and Gail ends up, um, putting in a word to the new colonel, um, you know, pretty much just saying, uh, in simplest terms that, uh, you know, John is no good down here on the ground, he needs to be up in the air with his men, and, like, that's, that's about it, pretty much, like, there's nothing else to it, so, um, you know, John has the meeting with the new colonel, the colonel demotes him to, uh, CEO of the fucking 418th, uh, squadron, and so that's, that's pretty much right up his alley, because he wanted to be back in air, you know, especially with this boy, uh, Buck, being there, you know, he, he got, you know, he got to be with his road dog, he got to be up there with his road dog in action, now episode two was a little bit, they had a little bit more success in their mission, you know, um, given that they had another, another, uh, navigator named, by the name Crosby, that, uh, fucking saved their ass, um, goddamn fucking, you know, uh, Gail, Gail and John, they, you know, they, they're looking at this task as if, like, they, you know, they need to give it a hundred percent, you know, and they need the best men on their fucking crew and line, so for this new guy Crosby to come in and deliver on the first hand, they were you know they every everybody were was you know straight up like oh yeah well, you're you're on this team you're on this fucking this group this crew now fuck uh the old navigator Bubbles whatever his bitch ass real name was um. We we need a man like you, you know, because he hit this man hell. He he helped them uh, successfully bomb Germany and whatnot, and then he fucking uh, also helped fucking uh, one of their one of their uh, planes, you know, crew crewmen and plane and whatnot uh, land successfully because they were having mechanical issues again, man. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. They need to get that shit, like, fixed pronto. Because if y'all about to be sending these men out on these missions like this, everything needs to be, like, A1. Like, equipped with the with the best fucking uh, elite material as, as could be. Like, yeah. Like, y'all out here sending these men to their fucking death and not even providing them with the best fucking, you know, to man shit. Like, come on now. Come on now. Make it make sense. Like, I get it was back in a, in a, in a you know, earlier time, but it's, that's, that's too much. That's too much, um, too much problems in, in my eyes on you know, the mechanical side, like, it's one thing to fix, uh, people, you know, crew, fixing the crew and shit like that, and the groups and shit, 
and the, you know, the leaders, and, you know, colonels, all that, but y'all having problems with y'all, like, technical shit, that, that needs to be the first thing, you know, to be, like, obsolete, and checked on, and made sure, um, <laughs> sorry guys, make sure it's, you know, up to par with these, uh, with, with, with these missions you, you guys are trying to fulfill, so, that, yeah, that part was, uh, was pissing me off a little bit right there, but, um, yeah, they were successful on their second mission on bombing, um, Norway, um, they end up showing these goddamn, uh, it was earlier in the scene, um, Barry Keoghan's character, Kurt, Curtis, he's, uh, he's from, uh, fucking New York and whatnot, Boston, shit like that, um, they were, uh, they were at the bar, <gasps> so like I said, their base is staged out of England, they were at the bar, um, and these, like, these, uh, fucking English men, British men, or whatever, end up wanting to fight them, talking shit about their men they lost, and how they, um, how they should pursue at night, rather than the daytime, because that's what, that's how the British do it, they are, they pursue their, um, targets by night, and, um, you know, executed with the precision bombing and whatnot, and, uh, you know, these, these niggas, British, they've been, they've been at war with, uh, the Germans for, like, four years now, so, Granted, they they may know a little bit more. Uh, they may they may be a little bit more, uh, but expert in that type of field with you know, as far as how to uh directly approach with the bombing, but you know, fuck who who is you like pretty much like these men are obviously um you know, the best of the best that they sent to do this mission, uh, for America, you know, they didn't just pick no regular old Joe, so, like, uh, hold your tongue, you know, fucking change how you approach and deliver certain things, that's what Gail even said, he was like, I don't, I, he's like, I, 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 you know, it's not that I didn't like, what they said, I just didn't like how it was delivered, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, fucking Curtis, you know, Barry Keoghan's character ends up fighting, going, having a tussle with one of the dudes, mopped his ass, all that shit, it was funny as hell, I love fucking Barry Keoghan, bro, he's, he's a fucking G, bro, every character he plays, he's a fucking G, and he was the one that, he was the dude, like I said, he was the dude that ended up, um, you know, getting fucking, uh, helped by the new navigator, Crosby, to land safely. This man ends up in Scotland, <laughs> and shit, but I mean, yeah, it's better than dying, you know, better safe than sorry, so, but, um, yeah, he ends up in Scotland, and shit. Phones back to the base, tells, you know, tells, uh, Gail and John, you know, how he appreciated, because they ended up holding back, they ended up, uh, you know, staying back, having the rest of the crew stay back with them as they were pursuing the mission, like, you know, slowed up on their, uh, pursuance, just to make sure that, uh, Kurt and his crew, uh, safely, you know, landed and whatnot, so, yeah, this, this shit, like I said, it, it, it was, it, it was bound to be, from all, from the trailers and shit, it was bound to be something great, uh, I love the bond that I'm already seeing between the characters, and, you know, it's gonna be more, uh, trials and tribulations, uh, as, the, I feel like as the series goes on, and that's going to build, um, I just wanted to make the character development between everyone and the Bond, um, you know, just evolve to something more great. It's going to be touching and just absolutely, you know, just 
just delightful sight to see. Um, fucking, you know, the Nets mission is fucking going to be even more crazy. I feel like as this series goes on, each mission is going to get more and more wild. For this one, they got he he the fucking colonel. He wants these. He wants the men to um. First off, he wants them to fly over enemy territory. Secondly, he wants them to fly for a very extremely long time, longer than usual. And thirdly, is they're going to uh, was was it teller telegramma uh somewhere based out of like Africa or some shit. I don't even know, but. Oh, yeah, I feel like this next um this next episode is going to be some shit. From what I seen, from what they showed on the you know the trailer for the next one, it looks like uh a lot a lot of young crew members are going to get knocked off. Sad to say, um, some will make it. Some won't. <laughs> uh, I, I I know they're not turning back though, because the from what uh, the last scene I seen, Gail, you know, he was in, he was he was flying with one of the uh, co pilots or whatever, and the co pilot was like, "We need to get out of here, all this shit," like panicking, and Gail looks at him like, "No, we we taking this shit, we sitting here and taking it, like buckle up, boy." <laughs> Strap your nuts in. We we taking this full throttle. We gonna we gonna deliver. We gonna complete this mission. Fuck what you mean. <laughs> like that shit. Mm mm. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna look for the next one, but it looks fucking wild. It looks wild, most definitely. Um, but yeah, man. There you have it. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about these first two episodes. Uh, like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. And I will be back with some more vids uh, later on this weekend. So stay tuned for those. And with that, I would say toodles.